Is this the first example of a Gaussian splat in a Hollywood movie? I think so. I put your parents' message on to soothe you. Thank you. There was one really cool aspect to that call that blew my mind a little bit. Their head moved. It's, they totally filmed it volumetrically. They did not want to go with the general 2D glitch approach. They wanted a three-dimensionality to it. So yeah, this was done through 4D Gaussian splatting. They did Gaussian splatting for this? Gaussian splatting. I don't know why we say 4D. The fourth oh, dimension with time. Is this. So they are filming these actors with 192 cameras at 24 frames per second. Wow. They're doing a Gaussian splat for every single frame. So mm -hmm. every frame is an entirely new photogrammetry model, basically. And then you just play those frames together. I know it's a lot more complicated than that, but it's essentially what's happening. Yeah. It took about five days to process that two minutes of footage in, yeah. into a point cloud yeah, that you a, could actually use. You basically take that super dense point cloud and then, then pulled it into Houdini, and they're just points in space. So you can take off the head and actually rotate it. Oh, so yeah. you're getting these glitching patterns on basically three-dimensional geometry. It's a lot of data. A lot of data. 